New legislation on its way to Governor Whitmer's desk is sparking controversy over Detroit's Q line. The bill would make rides on the streetcar free for years to come, but it will cost taxpayers. If approved, the state would be locked into spending $85 million over the next 17 years. That's a $5 million annual subsidy through 30. 2039. Uh, Supporters say the free rides could be a boost for the city, while others argue it is not worth the price tag. 7 Action News reporter Simon Jaquette has more on what's included in the bill and the debate underway right now. Day in and day out, Sam Payne sees value in taking the queue line to and from work. Part of it due to high gas prices. I use the queue line to get back and forth to work sometimes, and it's important to me, especially inconvenience because I might not have cash all the time. There's also benefits of taking the free service to events downtown he can enjoy with his daughter Erin. It's hard to park sometimes when it's an event. What if I want to take my daughter to Sesame Street Live or something? The queue line, which runs 3.3 miles in each direction from Midtown to downtown, has now been operating five years. As ridership has grown, so has support from those who say it helps make Detroit a major city. I use the queue line to get from like Wayne State Campus down to Grand Circus Park. Is it a good investment of the state's money to maintain the free rides? Absolutely, yeah. Supporters of making the queue line free long term and expanding access say it's also important to take into account the fact it provides safe transportation. Lisa Niskowski is president of M1 Rail, which oversees the queue line. The queue line is a really safe service. We have a partnership with uh, transit police who, you know, uh, frequently board our streetcars. While Lisa and others say the state should pay 85 million over 17 years to keep rides free with an investment of 5 million a year. Our game is increasing ridership and making sure that we're providing value for folks. Critics say funding that awaits the governor's signature could be better spent, although the governor is expected to sign off on funding soon. Sometimes it's not, it's not coming, it's not reliable. I plan for something and it doesn't show up and I have to get back in my car. Lawmakers originally approved free rides in the pandemic. New funds are planned to come from hotel and liquor taxes. Other private funding will come from Metro Detroit donors who rallied for more transit in the city and plans to eventually expand up Woodward. From Midtown, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.